What must I do to be saved? In Acts 16, we're told of a Roman jailer woken by an earthquake. With the prison doors open and the chains empty, he drew his sword to take his own life. But the prisoners, Paul and Silas, shouted, Don't harm yourself, we're all here. That's when the jailer fell before his captives and asked, What must I do to be saved? Paul and Silas' reputation in Philippi was well known. But when the jailer experienced the power of God firsthand, he risked everything to find the answer. Paul and Silas replied, Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, you and your household. Paul and Silas took the family very, very seriously. So the offer of salvation was made to the jailer's entire household. But it was not the jailer's faith that saved his family. They all needed to come to Jesus in faith and believe personally. Then they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all the others in his house. The jailer and his family were all baptized and he was filled with joy because he and his family had come to believe in God. And here's my encouragement to you today. As we pray for the unsaved in our own families, ask the Lord to use the events in your life to lead them to salvation. Speak the word of the Lord to them and witness the life-changing power of the gospel in your own family.